This is NTI day number 16, fourth grade reading. Today you have a little passage that you're going to read about called Sea Sanctuary. It's a informational text, which means it gives us, it's a science article that gives factual information about the topic organized around the main ideas and the supporting details. Um, you're going to see some maps and diagrams while you read, but see Sanctuary. Here's a picture of a sea otter, and it says sea otter finds plenty of shellfish to eat in Monterey Bay. These animals suffered a drop in numbers because of being hunted for their fur in the early 1900s. Now they are slowly starting to return to the area. And there's a picture of a sea otter. We often think of wildlife sanctuary as a jewel of land that has been set aside to keep safe. But there are ocean sanctuaries too. The United States government has preserved 13 important areas as a marina or as, I'm sorry, such let me start that paragraph over. The United States government has preserved 13 important areas as marine or sea sanctuaries. The largest of them is in California's Monterey Bay National Marine Sanctuary. The sanctuary is an ecosystem. It is an environment whose non-living parts such as water and earth work within its living parts. Each part is like a companion to another part. Upwelling is one example of this. Wind causes cold water to rise to the surface of the ocean. The cold water causes new plants to grow. Then animals come to eat these plants. This food source is the chief reason why so many species are drawn to Monterey Bay. No enclosure or closed space keeps them there. The food does. Each plant and animal in a sanctuary is part of a food chain. A necessary bond connects each hunter to its prey. The need for food is why a hungry orca might charge at a sea lion. It is the same reason a sea lion might leave a rockfish exhausted after a chase. One animal depends on another for life. Coral reefs and ocean waters are inseparable. Coral reefs can be found 110 miles off the Texas and Louisiana coast. They are protected by flower garden banks, a 3,600-acre marine sanctuary. The coral reefs lie on top of two salt domes, old underwater mountains. Today, Flower Garden Bank Sanctuary is home to 23 types of coral. Anyone with affection, with affection for marine creatures will find many animals there. One might see turtles, manta rays, or the odd intruder, such as a huge whale shark. And then here's a picture here, the Gulf of Mexico, the Flower Garden Banks National Marine Sanctuary. Okay. Um, predators and prey. It looks like here you have the predators and the prey. You have an orca eats a sea lion, then the sea lion eats a rockfish, then the rockfish eats krill, and the krill eat tiny plankton. And that's all part of the food chain. Okay, so that's your reading. Let me get your assignment. Hold on one second. Thought I had it. Still looking. Hold on. I'm still here. I'm still looking. Hang on with me here. Got a lot of papers to go through. Now, I'm still looking, but I'm going to get up and go over here. 
See if I accidentally left it laying out. Hmm. Okay, I do know you had to select a writing piece, a writing topic. I'm still looking, so hang on with me, please. My kids at school know that I'm often looking, aren't I, guys? Okay, I'm going to cut off and I will send out another video when I find the questions for you all.